guys welcome back once again it is me Malt. so happy to be here with you guys today I know I look a little bit different I was shaving uh, or I was trimming my beard because it grows faster right here and it just went zoop and so I had to do it the same all the way around uh, it'll grow back so don't be too scared I know I look like I'm 15 years old right now but um, I'm still the same 27 year old so let's go ahead and jump into this guys we are uh, maxing out our town hall 8 so we've got to make sure we protect our loot um, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this new base build that I've got going on. I've got it pulled up over here on ClashOfClansBuilder.com. Um, if you guys want to uh, design bases quickly and easily instead of just doing it in the app, then definitely, definitely get Clash of Clans Builder because it is amazing. It makes it so much easier uh, to build. So you can see I've got the core of my base in right here. Now I'm going to bring in uh, the rest of my... Uh, mortars, which are my favorite defense by far. We're gonna bring in our wizard towers. Uh, I'm, I'm, I was I was thinking ahead to the wizard towers. The wizard towers are my favorite defense by far. The mortars are my second favorite defense. But wizard towers, yes, prime. I freaking love wizard towers. They are dirty. They do so much damage, and they protect you oh so well. Um, let's go ahead and bring in uh, our some of our archer towers. So we're gonna protect that one right there with an archer tower. Uh, we are going to protect an archer tower right here. We are going to put an archer tower right here as well. And we are going to throw in an archer tower right here. And where is our other archer tower going? Our other archer tower going is going right here. Uh, now let's go ahead and bring in the loot because we want to protect that. So we're going to throw one of those in there. One of them in here, one of them in here, and one of them in here. Oops. And as you can see, I've got my elixir storages on opposing sides and my gold storages on opposing sides. So if somebody wants to get my loot, they got to go all the way around the base to get all of it. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and continue bringing in the rest of our stuff. So we're going to throw this uh, dark elixir drill right here. Uh, another important defense, obviously, is the air defenses. We're going to throw one in right there, and as you can see, it is protected by that archer tower. That's why I put that right there. Uh, and then the other air defense is going to go right here. That one is going to be uh, relatively exposed, and then we've got this one right here. However, I do not get attacked by that many air troops at Town Hall 8. I get more attacked by ground troops and whatnot, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we should be just fine. Let's go ahead and bring in our cannon. So we've got a cannon right there. We've got a cannon right here. We've got a cannon right here. Uh, whoop. And then we have got a cannon right here. And then I believe we have one more cannon. And where does it go? It goes right here. All right, there we are. Um, and then now we're just going to bring in, I guess we can go, let's just go ahead and get rid of our uh, army camps and throw those in here on the corners. Uh, I love symmetry. I love symmetrical bases, so that is why those are there. Now we can bring in our last uh, defenses, which are our mortars and our, not our mortars, our Teslas and our traps. Uh, so we're going to throw a Tesla right here and then one and two spring traps, guys. And then we're going to bring in one giant bomb and one regular bomb. The spring traps are in front of the bombs because that way the troops go away and then the rest of them explode. Otherwise, they explode and they just have half health and then you throw them off the map. You always got to do that, otherwise you're wasting damage. Um, <clears throat> and then we're just going to throw in uh, this little guy right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, and in each of these little tip things, we're just going to throw a collector. Uh, and we've got that wall separating right there so that uh, any of the troops that try and get in there to that gold storage are going to have to go through two sets of walls, uh, which should be fine and dandy for us. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring this in right here. And then we've got two sets of giant bombs up here. So anybody tries to mess with this side, they are going to get wrecked. I dare you, drop off all your goblins. Drop off all 20 of your goblins and send them all right in there to that. They're all going to die. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and bring these in. We've got that uh, dark barrack right there. We'll put our laboratory right there. Fits perfectly in between those presents. Uh, let's go ahead and jump over to this side as well. We've got this bad boy right here. We'll bring in our other Tesla right there. And we've got some more spring traps. So you can come up in here and take out my Tesla, but six of your giants are going to get flung off. So it's up to you. And then we will uh, put a little bomb right here on the inside as well. Uh, for once they do get flung off, they will take a little bit of extra damage we're going to bring a skeleton trap in right here and a skeleton trap in right there what else do we need to do we need to do this side right here we're going to bring this in here and our 
Uh, Tesla once again hanging out just a little bit. Two more spring traps for anybody that tries to mess around with us. And two more bombs on the inside of the walls. Uh, and then, do we have any more traps? We do have two more bombs. Where do those bad boys go? <clears throat> I think that we are going to put them right here. So I don't think anybody's going to attack from up here that much, though. So I'm actually going to uh, throw those bombs. I feel like people will attack mostly from down here. So we'll throw a bomb right there. And we will throw a bomb right here as well. Let's go ahead and put our seeking air mines on opposing sides, just like this. Same with these. And we'll put one in with those. Come on. <clears throat> one and one. Now, there go all of the traps. Uh, now, it is time to just bring in the rest of the buildings. One and one. And another one. Go ahead and throw in a builder's hut and a barrack right there. We'll throw in a builder's hut right here and a gold mine right there to kind of help protect that archer tower a little bit. Another builder's hut. Another builder's hut. Um... And then let's work our way over here. We've got our laboratory. We've got a dark elixir drill. And then we're going to bring a barrack. Oh, messed it up. Barrack and barrack. And then barrack right here as well. And we're going to save that bad boy. And that is going to be it right there, guys. I think personally that it looks like a pretty freaking good base. Uh, the loot spread out enough that if anybody tries to get to it, we're going to be just fine. You guys can try it out, uh, and you will also see replays for this in any of my Max uh, That Town Hall 8 episodes. You will see replays and whatnot of what's going on with this base. So hopefully it does a good job of protecting loot. You can never really tell until it gets attacked, but... With all of our resources spread out throughout the base, I think that we should be fine at protecting the majority of it. Unless we just get wrecked by some higher level uh, player, which is bound to happen. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Leave a like down below. And remember, I am going to be choosing winners from all of the comments uh, every day to either get an iTunes or Google Play card. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be looking down there. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys rock. You know I mean that. Uh, make sure you keep calm and you clash on them, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace!